after your son is released in Ghana, go to TikTok office, not in Nigeria. Don't go to Nigeria. If you have a son, if you're a Ghanaian and you have a son released, don't go to Nigeria. Go to TikTok's office and pay for them to. I don't, I don't even have words to describe it. So 2023, nobody for can tell us this thing. Make we go to go work. Or do a leg back for nothing. <laughs> I'm telling you. Make we go work or do a leg back. You know we go do a leg For what? <laughs> but, listen, let me tell you. Look, in Ghana, in Ghana, if the sun, eh? If the sun day here, eh? Where the shine, where we live. Nigeria, the sun day here, be hot rough. It come down small. God shift the sun come down small for Nigeria. Go there, go see. I stayed in first stack, first stack for, for a month. You know, busy. You know, Nkotun. Next time, uh -huh, I say, Nima be Trazaku. <laughs> Nima be Trazaku. Nkotun, go there. <laughs> we forgot working Nkotun. 2023. Bossu, everything is digital. <laughs>
Yeah. Nigerians are people whereby when you draw Open close up. to them, yeah, yeah they will draw mm. back mm. to you mm. and they're gonna promote you. Mm. So I feel like they are going it around the wrong way. Mm. So they feel like maybe being negative will get them more attractions yeah. or stuff. Yeah. yeah, but it's not it's not working, it doesn't work that way. But this you are you are in Ghana. I've been telling a lot of Nigerians on my podcast that you see some of us have come to realize that we don't need to do negativity oh. or do negative stuff to bring our industry or to have a face in the no, industry. No, no, no. Now I told them, you know, in a percentage wise, Ghanaians are known for having negative content, 90%. Yeah. If you try to create good contents, Ghanaians will bluff you, you even get subscribers. Sure. Sure. All right. Now I am, I'm actually bored on the fact that we want to drag Nigeria into everything, right? that comes back to our ego lifestyle right we are too egoistic okay. right what do you think is the problem with Ghanaians? uh it's plenty plenty it's plenty ah, as, well as usual say so all of them because like Ghanaians need to understand that comparing mm. doesn't help mm. being negative doesn't help of course you need to focus and craft your mm. own craft like you need to work on yourself mm. and promote yourself more mm. go out there and mm. just join with the winning team yeah the winning train just mm. go with it and don't just focus on the, the negative, negative side don't forget on that and don't just compare with nigerians because mm. they're far gone they're far ahead in this in this game so Ghanaians need to work on themselves they need to they let out the eight i would say the fact mm. is i think there's some certain range of eight in their heart like, mm. Mm. so mm. they need to let mm. go of mm. the eight and just Focus on themselves more and attract, try to bring attract, the best. Yeah, yeah attract energy. A lot of like people. it's very. Now we 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 have another problem. We sit here and we cry. Nigerians have record labels. Nigerians have the money. Then we also switch to Nigerians have the numbers. Yeah. The and the last time I told them, Jamaica. What is the population of Jamaica? Yeah. Minimal, but they have yeah. made an impact. So my 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 question to you is: You see, it is not about numbers. Record labels will come in if yeah. they find the ground conducive to exactly. invest. What exactly. do you think? It's, it's true. I think um, even as a solo artist, like mm. an independent artist, mm. some are actually doing good in Ghana, yeah, mm. when they do the workings and when they mm. join, when they, the right platform mm. and they push their craft yeah. in any little way they can. Mm. So I feel like Ghanaian artists need to collaborate more. Mm. If you want to go international, mm. Nigeria is the gateway. Yeah. So don't follow what some other artists, some pundits might say and mm. stuff. Mm. Just do what works for you. Go out there, cross boundaries, mm. then you see results. Then you could actually go mm. far in this entertainment that's, that's, industry. That's interesting. We'll come back to the matter on board about Bulldog yeah. telling people not to go to Nigeria to promote their songs and then go to TikTok. That is pure hatred. Yeah. And I find a lot of our industry players trying to find a way to block Nigerian music from penetrating Ghana. I always tell them it will penetrate. If, even if yeah, you like block it from the airwaves, radio, mm -hmm. we'll still have it on our phones. That's true. I feel, I feel like Bulldog is actually jealous in some mm. way because mm. um, the last two songs mm. Shatter has released mm. while in Nigeria mm. has gained more traction than the previous ones. Yeah, because he's actually in a little way he's actually penetrating into Nigeria. the Nigerian market. You get it. So I feel like it's a wise decision for him. So Bulldog is been, is been, is been. I don't even. Do know you see? Been. Do you see uh, some flex? Yeah, Shatterwale's new manager. Yeah. sort of being that pathway of rebranding re Shatawali's mindset because he's, he seemed to be doing sensible things of late because then he was just shading Nigerians. True, true. So I had a problem. I did a podcast and I had a problem with the fact that you shade people and you still want to do the agenda. Mm -hmm. It's a problem. But do you see a rebrand on Shatawali? And for you, as you say, he's a confused and controversial artist. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so he has been doing that for a while. He has been yeah. being controversial. I think that is... That is all. His own way. Yeah, he's been mm. like that for even Ghanaians. He shades Ghanaians mm. and he shades Nigerians. So I feel like it's actually good for him because he's been tanking of late. Mm. His songs have not been getting yeah. what he wants. He's not had a hit song mm. for a while. I think he has. He's a little bit calm now, mm. and he's realized that if he wants to join the winning team right mm. now, he needs to go. He yeah. needs to go to he Nigeria. Needs to be sober. He, needs, he needs. He has seen that Afrobeat is the issue now. of the day. That's it. You just need to understand. Sometimes. Mm. Let go of your ego, let go of your pride, and just go mm. for what works for you. Because if mm. you want to do music right now, you need you need Nigerians, mm. no, no, no doubt. Bro, let's come back to Ajena. Yeah. 
we, we don't have a core root, a root we are known for. You know, we don't have something that is Ghanaian. We seem to be doing dancehall. We seem to be doing reggae. Um, that is not bad. And I'm what I used to say is you can copy, but you don't yeah. copy the whole thing. Copy and add your own. Yeah. Like unavailable. It's an Ama piano song, but it has elements of Afro beat in it, right? Are we lost with our gender? I wouldn't say I wouldn't say Ghana is lost or Ghana music as a well. whole. Because um artists nowadays it's all about mm. the money. Mm. They need to make mm. this money. Mm. And when you see that this is what's selling now, you need to mm. go there. Because um you can see like it's Nigerian is now. Mm. Nigerian used to be known for rap at the time. Yes. But when they realize that it's not actually paying that much, and a lot of rappers in Nigeria are not making that much. For example, you see Olamide. Mm. Olamide was a rapper, mm. but he had to switch. And then there's this guy, Fino. Is it Fino? Fino? Yeah, Fino. Fino also. Uh, so they realize that Afrobeat is what's mm. selling now. It's mm. what's going to push them into the mm. international market. So I feel like Ghanaians should... We need to find a star. They don't actually need to find a specific one. Everyone can just say the air is uh, big enough for yeah. best to fly. Yeah. So everyone can just do their thing and... Yeah. They just need to put more effort into it, more quality works out there because mm. international market will, will buy it mm. regardless if it's quality, mm. regardless of the language. Mm. So, language is not a barrier because I think that's some excuse mm. some Ghanaians has been mm. given. Yes, that the language, language yeah, it's a barrier. And uh, so, mm. I feel like when you're pushing your this thing in the right channel, you're gonna get, yeah, what you're, what you're looking Music for. Music is about rhythm. It's about reading no language, yeah. language right? No language, all right. So that's that's the opinion of my brother yeah. Breezy. Uh, you know, I salute him, Breezy. Welcome to the studio yeah, once trouble. again. Anytime. You know, my thing for Nigeria is uh, Breezy be brother. Eh? Yeah. After calling him, he was like, You know what? I'm expecting a visitor. Give me some few minutes, I'll get back to you. And indeed, he called me, he was on his way. That's yeah. that's brotherly love. Breezy, let's 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 do this. Let's do this. You'll be coming to this podcast more sure. often. Sure. Now let's look at what Bulldog said. Are we so obsessed and jealous of Nigerians? I have a lot of Nigerians under my comment section saying that they are Ghanaians are jealous with what we are doing. Our uh, industry gatekeepers crashing on Nigerians, and then we also bringing and dragging Nigerians into everything to sound controversial. Mm -hmm. We still have Kim Promise doing a follow back with Whiskey, mm -hmm. and the R Two B is doing same. Now, Bernard Boy was so good to the extent that he had a clean heart of pulling Black, o, Black Sheriff yeah. onto, you know, onto his, his, yeah. his space. Mm -hmm. And then also allowed himself to feature on Black Sheriff's song. Okay. What do you think Ghanaians are lacking? Let me ask this question again. Because Nigerians are doing a lot for them, for Ghanaians. What are we doing for Nigerians? I can't. I think... One thing I can mention is mm. the culture. Mm. I think Nigerians gain get a lot mm. from the Akan mm. language. You could okay. see a lot of yeah. influences, the language. Similarities. Yeah, you could see the title of songs from yes. Nigerians. Yes. Or Ima, okay, Abuna, Odor. Odor. You could see that. Nah. I think that's, mm. that's one thing I can say we gain. We get from, on the benefit. Yeah, mm. and that's it. Because it's, it's aside that good. music wise, it's minimal as compared to that of Nigeria. Nigerians no. are doing a lot for us. Right? We don't. We don't see. We don't see a Nigerian featuring a Ghanaian in the song. It's, it's rare. It's rare. Like, like okay, maybe your song is blown mm. now, mm. and you want it to blow more. Yeah. You don't feature a Ghanaian because mm. you, you know, need to go higher. Mm -hmm. So, but if a Nigerian wants to penetrate Ghana, yeah. with Let's just say a particular song. That is when mm -hmm. they consider Ghana. Yeah, they but a much more wider perspective. They go uh, yeah, yeah. insightful. Yeah. Insightful. Mm -hmm. If you just join us, we are looking at you know a perspective of what Bulldog said that when Ghanaians want to promote their song, they don't need to go to Nigeria. <laughs> That's funny. They need to go to the office of TikTok. Now let's come back to this topic. What do you think you know custom for or pushed? Bulldog to say this kind of you know statement what actually is behind the motive of this statement uh, one thing i'll say about Bulldog is i feel like as you, you say you say Ghanaians mm. feast on the negative yeah there's a way he could have presented mm. that mm. he could he could have presented in a way by go to tiktok then go to nigeria mm. he could have placed it in that way mm. but it feels like nah dog them for ignore them. It doesn't make sense. Let me show you. Let me give you some examples. Mm. We could see what TikTok did mm. for 
sugarcane mm. mm. and we saw what the nigerian collaboration did after mm. Mm. and we could see what terminators by king mm. promise we yeah. saw what the song did on tiktok mm. fine but we saw what after the collaboration after the collaboration with young john we young could john. see the difference in streaming mm. we could see what that did mm. so these are the reasons these are things you should put into mm. perspective and see like no go to tiktok because tiktok i ain't taking anything from mm. them they've been tiktok has been a powerful tool mm. for promoting songs of late so i feel like fine do your tiktok promotion and stuff but still if you, you want to go Nigeria. further if you yeah. want that that reach to be more mm. then you need to go to trust Nigeria. me i feel you can go to tiktok but you still need the nigerian you need, market Canadians need, Canadians need yeah. the nigerian market you need it. and that is why i always tell them drop the ego mm -hmm. if you feel you want to learn go to the video go to ben about ask questions how are you able to fill the o2 arena sure. learn give yourself time and then you also get there but we seem to be bosses of our own what do you make of that assertion oh, yeah. where we always feel nigerians came to learn movies from us nigerians came to learn music from us mm -hmm. some things that say uh, ghanaians before there was a saying that says um before you blow in africa you mm. need to come to ghana mm. that's what some yeah that was I, I had in mind i was like ah okay it's cool but i feel like no ghanaians are love gate keeping mm. stores and mm. stuff and mm. it doesn't help mm. we could just we could all flourish together mm. everyone mm. could do their thing you don't need to say oh afrobeat came from me this came from mm. me we could all do whatever we want and we could just blow together so i feel like ghanaians need to be more accommodating mm. and be more open real yeah we have to be be real, real people and don't mm. don't be your like that that's how it is but on the on the low you know much on a percentage level have you met few ghanaians who are real in that sense few ghanaians you know stay in ghana uh, some ghanaians who have been real to you yeah. that you vibe with like you were in nigeria uh, it's true uh, a few a few because i'm um, very cautious because mm. i've i've mm. been here for over nine years now mm. so i've studied people mm. and i've realized how people are so mm. i relate with mm. you based on how you relate with me of course i can see the energy you're giving mm. and so that will depend on how mm. the energy i'm gonna give back mm. so i i read people mm. i try to understand and i see that you might ghanians are wanting one thing i see is i don't know the word for it's like i service ghanians have eye service mm. they appear to be um accommodating sometimes yeah. but it's not actually the truth yes they appear to be hospitable sometimes yes. but it's not actually yes. they want something or they just like when they go in your back and i feel like ah Nigerian anyway. behind i like back. anyway you know yeah. all those things yeah it's not necessary yeah. it's not necessary, it's not necessary. One thing about me i keep a pure heart mm. i deal with people plainly mm. like there's no area for me for eight in my heart so mm. i deal with people that's one thing about nigerians mm. clear pure heart of deal course. with everyone so that's how it is that's my brother or my friend greasy joining us on our podcast today like i promised my viewers he will be coming most often to discuss a lot of topics we have a lot of contents for you myself and greasy will be digesting it on this platform okay my name is tj all right we have just two more questions right sure. and i will we'll be done this is not a long post podcast greasy two more questions sure what advice after living in Ghana for nine years, what advice will you give to the Ghana music industry? No, the advice I would give them would be they need to be more open and let go of their pride mm. and be willing to learn mm. because it's very, you need to ask questions. Mm. You need to have information about things and how things, things works in the international space. Mm. And they need to be open to more partnerships with mm. um labels mm. overseas like we could see what atlantic has done for mm. bonaboy mm. we could see what empire has done for mm. artists signed under them mm. they push their craft they mm. publish their stuff and mm. give it more reach out there so i think they need to be open to more mm. collaborations, collaborations with nigeria uh, not only even south africa south and africa some other is, people mm. some other countries so i think that's one thing that they need to do okay finally before we sign out sure we have you've you've lived in Ghana, uh, nigeria i have this perception that nigerians have love for only three Ghanaian artists sako can promise now and then black sheriff what do you make of it yeah the black sheriff is quite clear mm. black sheriff brought a new vibe it brought mm. something different what do you make of his style do you like, think 
Ghanaian should start doing more of Black Sherry style. Nah, it won't be like the original. It won't be like the Black Sherry style is refreshing. It's, mm. it's a break from the norm. Do we have what, a what name we, to accommodate it? What we've been used to, we've been used to, and Ghanaians have been used to, you mm. know. Mm. Ghanaians have been used to one particular style. Sakode kind of style mm. of rap. Mm. And that got boring at the time. You could see that people that tried to be like Sakode didn't blow as much as Sakode. Yeah. So I feel like if someone tries to be like Black Sherry now, mm. They can't be like, blow like no, they can't be like okay. black shirt. They can't be like the original. So okay. I feel they people need to do their stride different. Mm. Come with something yeah. different. Mm. Don't feel like okay, this is what what's trending today. What's trending today? So, so let me, so go, let me by go by that. No, it might not work for you. What mm. I work for, Peter might not work for Paul. Mm. So that's that's one thing. That's true. That's it's refreshing. True. And I'm not, you said um people will listen to you. I mm. we listen to soccer day, mm. but it's not as much as before because there was a time Nigerian was focused on foreign music. Mm. I won't lie to you. There was mm. a time. Nigerians were all about American music, mm. Ghanaian music and stuff. Mm. But we thought that mm. no. And the Ghanaian Nigerian artists woke up. Mm. They started pushing their songs more. Mm. They started putting more effort mm. and more quality works out mm. there. And they realized that wow, so Ghan Nigerians could actually consume their own music. Mm. And then they focused and they were pushing it mm. more. Mm. So I, and I feel like the government too needs to invest somehow mm. in the entertainment industry because mm. It's it's a big it's a big industry. It's a big industry. People they make money from it's it. It's big money. Wow. Big. Interesting submission. My brother Dreezy, he gets sense. Pow. You know, see him. He gets okay. sense. That be that be why me most times I the flow with more Nigerians. You get it. Yeah. Like I'm not saying that like, Ghanaians don't get sense. So I beg, make you know can't doubt me. Mm -hmm. But you see, we have different auras and we have sure. different vibes. I flow a lot more with Nigerians because of their originality and then their sense of patriotism all right so today was a dissect on boys casa editorial sure. trust me drizzy will be here again we'll be bringing right. you more contents before you go final right. words right. to your people my people my Ghanaian people mm. my Nigerian no no people. your niger people they are, they are all my family. like now i'm more more like nigeria <laughs> now everyone calls me Kweku. Everyone okay calls me so, okay so, so you're wednesday born yeah i'm wednesday born Kweku, my brother be that yeah so <laughs> so i feel like just 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 let's love let's live let's love and let's embrace okay. each other let's because your family we were bond we were like because when it comes to ghana and nigeria mm. we are two we're one mm. we're just like twins mm. whatever is happening over there is happening here when it comes to um politics and stuff mm. we just like a lot of things we are we are similar in a lot of things so mm. we need to be more accommodating and love each other more I think that's right. what I say. we need to be more accommodating and love each other more my name has always sure. been tj well, i'm the commander in chief of this podcast my guest is Dreezy, Dreezy. and uh he's been here to join up on the podcast you'll sure. be seeing him more on this content yes it's time to sign out like i said don't forget to hit the subscription button and the notification button. Subscribe to the channel and let's do more. If you love my contents too, if you have anything you want to share, drop it in the comment section and I'll read them like I've been doing. All right. So it's time to sign out like I've been doing. Peace out.